Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAB League Support. In today's video, we will discuss about how to change the status of an both incoming IDAX and outbound IDAX. There is a one report provided by SAP. Let me go to the transaction code SE38. The report is RC1 underscore IDAC underscore underscore state underscore status. So this is that uh, report. Okay, so with the help of this uh, report, we can uh, change the status of an IDAC. So let me take one example IDAC now. Let me go to WE02 and uh, execute something here okay so there is a one outbound IDAC with me now currently status of this IDAC is 0 2 right let me try to reprocess it now so what I will do I will see complete 0 2 I will go to that report and I will give the attack number. Here you see message type. If you know the attack number, just give attack number. If you want to do it for message type wise, then don't enter any attack number here. Just enter only the message type only. And uh, here the status field, we should enter the current status of the side up. It is 0 to make it as 0 to now I am going to make it as 31. So 31 means no further processing allowed for in case of an outbound IDAC. In case of an inbound IDAC, uh, that will become 68. Okay. If I execute now, you see I am getting the message saying that one IDACs were converted. And if you go to W02 and I open the IDAC one more time, you see. Now status of this IDAC become 31 and same thing you can see here also right at least it was 0 2 now it become 31 now what I will do again I will make it to 31 to 0 1 0 2 okay if execute see one IDAC were converted if I go to the report and execute see now it becomes 0 2 so like this we can try to update the status of an existing IDAX. The reason why we do is that business thinks that they don't want to process this IDAX by mistakenly by anyone. They don't want to process this IDAX anyone by in future also. To avoid that we can simply set the status as 31 in case of an outbound IDAX or in case of inbound there is 68 you see here 31 means error no further processing in case of in outbound IDAC and in case of an incoming IDAC it will become 68 okay now what we will do we will try to debug it and understand how this works right 0 to always better to understand how the standard program works it will give you a lot of knowledge and it will give you a lot of information about standard behavior and which will be helpful in analyzing any of the standard issues okay i am playing the breakpoint now and let me execute now i'll click f7 F7, 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 F7. Okay, now I came to that program. Okay, so let me add the breakpoint here and save it. F8. Okay, let me do it one more time. 
thirty one to zero two. If execute, the program will start at the breakpoint where I have kept it. Okay, now you see here. Now we are in the debug mode. So let's understand this function model, right? This is the function model. First system will be calling to update the status. IDAC status write to database, right? If you click F five, right? So in this inside this function model only the status from thirty one to zero two will be updated. If I go to click F five, it will go inside. So inside this one more function model is there to process the IDAC. Okay, I'm not going to go inside. I'll simply click F6. F5, F5. So here you see one one more IDAC is function model is there. IDAC status convert. Okay, let me click F6, F5, F5, F5. Okay, one more function model now. EDI status add block. Click F5. Okay, let me apply breakpoint here. Now click F6, 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 and F5. So in this pro, in this um, form only, there is a statement return to update the logic. One second, let me show you that. You see, there is a statement return to update EDI DC. We know, right? EDI DC is the table to update the status records of an IDAC. So, system is trying to update this EDI DC table with the new status number. F8. You see, now it will be updated. If I click F8, now it is done now. And let me open the IDAC also. Now it become zero two. That's what we did here. Thirty one to zero two. So this is a very very important and useful report. Let me tell you one more time. The report name is RC1 IDAC set status. In this report, we can change the status of in both incoming IDAC as well as Outbound IDAC, and these are the function models will be called inside this report. This is the first one, IDAC status write to database. Then second one is EDI document open for process. Third one is EDI document close process. Fourth is IDAC status convert, and last one is EDI status add block. So with help of this uh, function model only, this report working, and where it is applying the status update happening. Okay, thanks everyone. Hope this video will be very helpful. We will meet in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.